So today we are doing a desk makeover, indie musician edition. I got this very, very cool desk that I was so excited to get. And I wanted to use this space to write song lyrics and write in my journal and do projects and other other fun stuff and be inspired. And it's become this complete mass of musical equipment. Um, this is actually a cool periodical, by the way, Desert Oracle. As you can see, I also have clothes that have piled up on the very cool chair that came with my desk. So I basically have not been able to use this space. So last week I did my first vlog on my YouTube channel here and a lot of you tuned in and said how much you liked it. So I'm so appreciative of that. And so in that vlog, I did mention that I have a huge problem with organization. And I, I did flash a video of my desk, how it looked. <laughs> Basically it's the same and I've been putting it off long enough. I do need to um, organize my desk. Uh, it's raining here in Los Angeles, so it's a good day to do it. Um, I wanted to do a video about this because I know a lot of indie musicians have trouble with organization. There's just certain things as musicians that we have that get piled up, whether it's song ideas and lyrics, whether it's certain paperwork, other business related stuff, taxes, um, things that have to do with my musical instrument upkeep. So um, I, don't, I don't have any of that separated from the other things in my life. So I just wanted to share and go through the process of how I'm going to turn this desk into something that I can use for a creative space in this new year. And I would really like to keep up with that. So here we go. But I like the idea of having an expanding file that I could put in my desk. So, so I went and got two of these from Staples. It's the all-purpose expanding file, letter size, 13 pockets, and it's got the reinforced gussets. I don't, I don't know what that means. So when I opened up my organizer, it looks like this. You could stick um, inserts. So it comes with, if you're a student and you wanted to organize, but organize your subjects, but I'm just gonna tear these out and start putting some some titles on the back. All right, so I decided to go with three titles for now, workshops, lyrics, and work forms. So I'm gonna start getting them into the file folder. All right, so I just went into my desk and I just grabbed a big pile of stuff out of my desk to put in my file folder. I figured I'd start by organizing a couple different sections or just seeing what sections I might need. So these are photographic video audio recording release forms for when I interview people. So, um, I mean, it's sort of like a work for hire form. I guess I'll just keep it under that. So I'll make... I, think, I guess one section for work for hire forms, because I have a lot of those. And actually these are all um, work for hire agreements. So I think what I'll do is I'll just make a big pile of all those kind of forms. So I have also a lot of papers from different workshops I've attended and I definitely want to keep those. This is actually a really cool one I did called The Crazy Brave Artist with Lisa Arrigan and that's a great workshop and there's definitely these papers that and steps that I want to to look at in the future to come back to. I think my second category will be workshops. So I don't have a lot of charts right now, so I might actually have to, in the future, have a separate filing system for charts, but for now, just to get it out of my desk, I think I'm just going to do um, a separate section for charts, and in the future, if I get too many, then I can start organizing them into a separate system. So it's about 30 minutes into the 
desk reorganization and so far I have about seven different categories. So um, for instance, I've got lyrics, uh, I've got work forms, I've got charts. And so um, through the process, I've had to develop some categories, like I have a category called uh, undeveloped ideas. So in my past, I would just write down an idea or a song lyric or anything on scraps of paper. So a lot of my mess is from the past when I used to do that. And so I still want to I still want to refer to these ideas in the future. So it is important that I am separating them. But I just wanted to mention one of the things I started to do was I started to buy journals. And so now all my song ideas and all my music ideas, whether it's a business idea, whether it's an idea for a YouTube video, whether it's a conversation I had with someone about music and I wanted to jot down uh, the information, whether it's a workshop that I did, um, I take a journal and I have these dated. So this is not the perfect way either, I don't think, because uh, this is also kind of my diary, so it's all mixed in. But the books are better than having all these scraps of paper all over. So I'm also in several different classes, and I do have a section here called Classes, and I have um, three files that are in that section for three different classes. That was uh, a couple years ago, but now what I do is I just buy a book for each class. So like this is uh, a, for a class called Produce Like a Boss. Very cool class, you gotta check it out. It's about audio engineering. And basically I just use this book and I just do all my notes from my class in the book and then I just store that in my drawer. So part of the reason why I'm doing this is to spark a conversation because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying, I'm hoping that this will generate some ideas for myself. And also if you have ideas out there, I would love to hear them because I'm sure there's actually better ways I could be doing this. But for now, I just wanted to show you my process. So I'm going to wrap this up uh, and then show you the end results. So what I did is I put two file folders here. One is for music, one is for other life stuff. And then what I did was I put all my journals here and um, they just go back in time and the, the latest one's on top. And then I have some business cards right there. So I just wanna show one of my file folders and everything fits really nice in here. And like I showed you, it just goes right in my drawer. So the second drawer, I decided to use it as a merch drawer and an artistic creative drawer for my supplies. Um, I do some merch for my music, like I make um, I make bandanas and scarves, so here's what I use for that. And um, I'm about to decoupage one of my guitars, so I have a lot of magazines that I cut out things from magazines that I'm going to use for that and just some supplies. So I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna use my second drawer as an art supply drawer. So one of the things that I had all over my desk was all my recording and live streaming supplies. So for now, I just have it on a, a little card table and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with that. So one of the things I got when I got my desk was this uh, organizer accessory and you can see it's pretty much a mess and I had it I had it over here uh, on that side but as you can see I can only sit on this part of the desk so my boyfriend was saying well I should put this here against the wall and then I would have this space that I can put like another organization thing so I don't know what you think about that but I'm thinking about getting something that lives here uh, and I could put things in it, whether it's a basket or, or something. And then I still have this whole space 
right here to do what I need to do. So what do you think? It looks so much better. Here I have some affirmations that I like to look at. I put those up there and then a drawing. I don't know if it's going to stay this way as far as what artwork I'll have back there, but I just love the way it looks and I'm excited to use my desk. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Uh, I've got my pens and stuff, which I like. That's what I got it for. So those are good and I'll probably figure out what to put in here. And for now I just have my computer here, but like I said, I could get something to put right here. And then this is my space. I have a lot of space to write or do whatever. I put some flowers. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I still have some uh, organization I have to do like on this drawer, um, but it's an ongoing process. But y you saw how bad it was at the beginning of the video. So it already just feels just so nice to be in the space and to at least get a huge jump start on organization for 2022 because like I said in my last video which I'll link below in the description I was talking about how this is a big challenge for me to be organized and as an indie artist who is juggling a music career and also life challenges it's really important for me to center myself for this new year and I thought the best way to do that was to organize this desk space so thanks for watching this vlog, Desk Makeover, Indie Musician Edition. I hope you got some tips, even if you're not a musician. So like I mentioned in my video on last Tuesday, it is something that challenges me. So if you have any tips out there, please let me know. I mean, the um, organizers I love um, to put my papers in and, and the journals and such, but clearly I could use some more advice. <laughs> So if you have any tips, let me know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be posting more vlogs on Tuesdays. So come back for next Tuesday where I'm going to be posting a special goal setting for 2022 vlog. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on subscribe and the bell if you want to receive notifications. And I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will see you next time. Keep it together while falling apart Together, while falling apart